perform the indicated operations and simplify if possible. So I'm going to start by factoring the bottom. And then after I factor the bottom, I'm going to look for a common denominator. So I can see that both the left and right fractions contain x minus 5, but the right side does not contain an x plus 4. So I insert parentheses around the top, and an x plus 4 on both sides. Remember, whatever you attach to the bottom, you have to also attach to the top. So both sides contain x minus 4 and x plus 4. And now, I'm going to write down the numerator here as both as I push them together. Again, when you add or subtract, if you have a common denominator, then you write the common denominator down. And across the top, I have 3x. And now I'm going to put a subtraction sign here, and I'm going to FOIL this portion. So multiply the fronts, outside, inside, and last. Checking again, multiply the front, the outside, the inside, and the last. Okay, now when I distribute this negative sign out front to everything inside, it just changes the signs inside. So this was positive becomes negative, negative, positive, and positive. All right. Now I'm going to write this in order, including this, write this in standard form and combine like terms. 7x squared, it's the only x squared, I have a positive 28 and a positive 3. So positive 28x and positive 3x is 31x. 31x subtract 2 would be positive 29x. Subtract 8 all over x subtract 5 and x plus 4. It does not say to state excluded values. We are just going to simplify when possible. This is not factorable. This problem is done.